Hi, and welcome to Virtual Chemistry. The objective of this video is one, to show you how to navigate Schoology in this time of virtual learning, two, to go over expectations and recommendations, just so that's clear and give you a strong start, and then finally, just to remind you of some contact information. All right, so before we get started, I just want to say that um, I'm hoping everyone is doing well and staying healthy both physically and mentally during this um, very difficult time and I just want to send you um, well wishes and just hope everyone's doing well because I know that this is sort of a very new thing for everyone no one has yet experienced this before in their lifetime and um, I just want to let you know I'm thinking of all of you Okay, so before we go into expectations, I actually want to go over how to um, navigate Schoology and where you will find the information for this course. So before school closed, I told everyone that the work during school closure will be found in this green folder at the top, and that is where I'm going to be putting work. So first thing is you want to open up the green folder, and this is both in honors and fundamentals of chemistry. And we are currently in unit four because we ended unit three before. So unit four, which is currently not published, but will be published by Monday. If you click on unit four, you will see week one. And that's the week that we're, we are currently in. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open it. And you will notice that when you open it, it has folders for each day of the week, Monday through Friday. You will also notice that the folders have the items that are listed that are in the folders and it tells you whether the item is required, optional, or graded. So what exactly does that mean? Required means that you have to do it in order to complete the task, but it will not be put in the gradebook. Optional means you can choose to do it or not. And then graded means you have to do it and you must submit it for a grade. So once you open up a folder, um, we're starting with Monday, and you want to make sure that, by the way, that you start in order Monday, then do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And the reason for that is that the lessons build on each other, so you can't say, oh, I'll decide to skip Monday and go straight into Wednesday. Um, you'll probably be lost. So you have to do them in order. When you click on the folder and you open it up, the first thing you should see at the top it's the agenda with instructions and goals. You definitely want to read through this. All you got to do is sort of like read through it and get a sense of what we're doing for the day. So here are the agenda and instructions. Um, and also get a sense of what the goals are. That'll keep you grounded. Now, at any time, if you are unsure where what you're doing, you should always go back here to the instructions to sort of see. So for Monday, what are the instructions? First thing it says is optional check-in. It's a Google form survey. So since it's optional, you can choose to do the check-in or not. The second thing it mentions the week uh, goals. You just want to make sure you read that. Uh, once again, it always it will always be at the top of the folder. The next item is a warm up um, and it's types of elements in periodic trend review quiz ungraded. So they're telling you, or I'm telling you that it's ungraded, um, but it's something that you have to do. It's still required. So notice how if you go back to the folder, I'm just going back into the folder, it says warm up must do first. So you must do that. All right. Now, going back to the um, agenda and instructions here, after the warm up, the next thing it says is to choose your review. Notice that there are three review items, notes, PDF of PowerPoint slides, and play pauses. You can choose to do all three of them, or you can choose to do just one type or two of them. It doesn't matter. It's your choice. And the reason why I'm giving you choice is because in this virtual learning environment, you're going to have to make the decisions about what works best for you. No one's going to be there to tell you what you should be doing. So options are going to be important. Now, with that being said, you want to choose what works best for you, not what you think is easiest, because sometimes you think, oh, this will be the easiest thing to do, and then you're completely lost. And since I'm not there to sort of help and guide you along the way, then that may sort of hold you back from moving forward and being successful. So make sure once again, you choose what's best for you, not what's easiest. 
All right, the next item that says for Monday is a common charge play posit. Notice that that's graded, so you have to complete that. And then there's an exit ticket, which is also graded, so you also need to complete that. All right, one last thing about navigating um, the folder. So notice how this one says warm up must do first, and then it says exit ticket must do last, but there's no notice on the other three. So if there's something that you have to absolutely do first and something that you have to absolutely do last, I'm going to tell you that. I'll tell you the order that you must do them in. I won't lock it in that order, but I'm telling you the order that you must do them in. And then these three things in the middle, the different types of reviews and the common charge of periodic trends, you can do them whatever order that you want. As long as you do the warm up first and the exit ticket last, the others are your choice. Okay, so just to sort of quickly recap, um, to access the information, you go to the green folder in Schoology that says work during school closure. You open that up. We are in unit four. This is starting week one. You will open up week one and then you would go in order doing them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And just so you know, um, what I'll do each week is after week one is over, I'll color code that folder in red. And then the current folder week two, so next, so next week will be week two, will be a blue folder. So the current folder will be in blue and then the previous folders will be in red. Just because the folder is in red doesn't mean you can't access the material. It just simply means that that's not the current week. Okay, so now let's quickly just go through some expectations. Um, first expectation is you're expected to do work daily for each class. Um, of course, that may sort of vary based on your schedule or what your needs are. Um, however, just note that if I'll be monitoring student work and student progress, and if you're not submitting work or locking in or whatever, then I will be contacting, um, I'll most likely be contacting you, contacting home and contacting administrators at, as well, just to make sure everything's okay. And if there's any support that you need, you, you're getting it. Also, um, this is new for everyone. So you wanna make sure that you focus on doing your best. Things may not work out perfectly the first time and it may get frustrating, but just keep on doing your best and then you will be successful in the end. Um, finally, I'll say this one more time. Make sure you advocate for yourself um, in this. This is super important that since um, you're doing a lot of this work on your own, if there's something that's working or not working, that you respectfully give feedback and you also ask for help. I will be posting a survey at the end of the week just to sort of do check-ins about that. So um, please do those surveys. That will be a forum for you to give feedback if things aren't working for you. Recommendations, you wanna make sure you don't do it all um, of your work at one shot, try and spread it out. Again, it's recommended that you're doing or expected you're doing work daily, um, but make sure you don't do it all at the end because you'll be overwhelmed and then you will likely not be able to do it. And then finally, try to make sure you uh, make and stick to a daily or at least a weekly schedule um, to sort of help you with uh, meeting these expectations. Here's an example of a schedule that a colleague shared with me. I like it because it gives like sort of two um, learning sessions, two two hour learning sessions. So you should have plenty of time to do everything else that you need. I will post this schedule in Schoology just so you have it if you would like to use it. And then last but not least, my contact information. Remember, you can always message me through Schoology or you can send me an email through my FCPS email address. All right, that's it, folks. Have a quality day.